Welcome to SoCal Tech Interviews, where we talk with the entrepreneurs, investors, and others in Southern California's high-tech industry. Today, we talk with Joel Eiffel, the founder and CEO of Dash Systems, a company that has combined airdrops with drone technology to create a way to deliver cargo out of airplanes without stopping. I'm Ben Quo, founder and editor of SoCalTech.com. Hello, I'm Joel Eiffel. I'm the CEO and founder of Dash Systems. And what does Dash Systems do? Uh, we're an aerial cargo delivery company. We enable any cargo aircraft to launch and land packages in flight. So, commercialized airdrops. And how's that work? Uh, uh, a lot of the technology is based on uh, smart bomb technology repackaged for a civilian purpose. Uh, interesting. So, uh, how did all that come about and what's your experience? Ah, so, uh, I'm an engineer by trade. I used to work on smart bombs. I took a lot of that skill set and applied it to the civilian marketplace. So, essentially, gave a cargo airplane the ability to land packages like a helicopter. And describe that a little bit more for folks who may not be able to <laughs> imagine what, how that works. I mean, do they open the, the, the bomb hatch or how does that work? Yeah, so you, you take a normal off-the-shelf cargo airplane you fly it directly over your customers, and instead of having to land at the airport and drive it back to you, uh, the cargo launches itself, it flies down, and lands nice, soft, and safely. And how much technology is involved in doing that? I mean, imagine that's quite a complex task. How, how, how are you doing that? How, much, how far along are you? Uh, yeah, that is a great question. There is quite a bit of tech in both the pods themselves, the vehicles that fly off the back of the airplane, and also our so software that automates the process legally and safely. Unfortunately, we can't talk too many details right now. Uh, during this event, we're actually going to show for the first time some live video of a package in flight. So talk about uh, the path to market. You know, you're, you're talking about dropping things out of flying airplanes. How do you get to market? What are the, the legal restrictions you're going to have to run into? Uh, these are great questions. We're already in the market space. We do a lot of deliveries and humanitarian and search and rescue missions. So essentially that same service you'd want from a helicopter, but from an airplane at about the fifth of the cost. And right now we're expanding into routine deliveries in rural and remote markets. So think Alaska, Hawaii, all those times you would want your Amazon package, but you live on an island or on the other side of a mountain place. Uh, that's where we really shine. Now I imagine the uh, equipment required to do that accurately without going through someone's roof, it's got to be expensive. How do you deal with all that and, and, and you know the, the infrastructure required? Oh. <laughs> Great question. We have a top-notch aerospace engineering team. We're really able to suppress the price. We're actually cheaper than legacy carriers like FedEx or UPS because we don't need ground trucking, shipping, all of that. So we actually reduce a lot of infrastructure. We land these pods right at airports already, general service airports. So think a small community airport. So again, instead of having to land at LAX and drive it all the way to the Inland Empire, it's going to land right in your neighborhood. Great. And so where are you kind of in the market? What's next for you? Ah, so. Uh, we're on track to do an appointment in Alaska in 2020. Uh, meantime, we have some amazing enterprise customers we're not sharing quite yet. Uh, we're hard on the path building and delivering hardware for them. Uh, what is the biggest hurdle for you to get to market on, on, on your company? The biggest hurdle is probably market awareness. Uh, most people aren't aware of commercialized airdrops. A lot of people think of drone delivery. Uh, we just want to say that we're out there. We've delivered more pounds than every drone delivery startup combined. Uh, and we did that all on a pre-seed budget. Great, and the last question is, what's the biggest uh, lesson you've learned so far as an entrepreneur? <laughs> the biggest lesson I learned as an entrepreneur, uh, just never give up, there will always be no's. It's being really tactical and getting by them and just uh, keep on charging forward.